Because yeah. I hardly ever reboot my phone, so I guess they would add up with time. Huh? Exactly. And for pe- those of us with kids, it's even worse because when your children get on there, like when my son gets on my phone, oh, I get on there and I have, <laughs> and my iPad's even worse because he's playing games on there. And all of those games that the kids are playing are all tied back to the GPS and they're pushing information, they're constantly updating the game, and it becomes a quite a, uh, a drain on your battery. And is that information true for all the various models of iPhone that are out there? Definitely. Really? Definitely. What about the iPad? The iPad, the same thing, the same problem is pushing data back and forth. One of the things that I did want to point out is it's important with iPads and iPhones is that every month you should let the battery all run all the way out. It's called life battery maintenance. And then you recharge so it gets an actual full charge. And the other thing that's important with your iPhone, if you want to make it last longer, is you want to use the plug-in. Most people are making the mistake of charging their iPad using a USB port. Most USB ports don't have enough power to properly charge the devices, so you won't get a full charge, and it will eventually affect your battery life. Yeah, I've noticed that if I try to use my iPhone charger on my iPad, I get not charging. It's exactly. Like, well, wait a second. Yes, it is. What are you talking about? Well, what happens is you're not getting enough power to it because it's not really set up for that device. So even though they look the same, the iPad charger is very different than the iPhone charger? Not very charged, just minor little changes there, and it's, it goes back to the amount of power being pushed through, and that's why they always recommend that you actually use the uh, wall charger. Hmm. Get a better look, get a little better. And the brightness is another thing. Turn down your brightness. Exactly. You can set your, your, your screen settings so it will automatically adjust, and that will also help your... Uh, your battery life. Battery life a little bit. All right. Well, thank you, Peter, for those tips. And Peter, our ABC7 web doc will be joining us every week with new and helpful tips. Tips. So if you have a question for our web doc, you can email him at webdoc at wwsb.com. Thanks for being with us. Have a great weekend. We'll be using those tips this weekend. All right. Well, thank you. All right.